All right, Agus, take us away with some uh, player introductions here on Intune Valley. So in the bottom right hand corner is our red, wait, is he red? Yeah, our red Terran player. The team captain of Payback, Scorb. And in the top right hand corner, Mr. Illiterate himself. It is our blue Zerg player, Rushers. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a dynamite introduction. <laughs> Uh, calling, calling Rush, Mr. Illiterate. We couldn't get right and left, right on Scorb. Oh <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I say? Did you I said, say? You sure I did. Said. You you goofed it. It was awesome. You had two options. You got it wrong. No big deal. Not a big deal. Um, okay. So we are on Entombed Valley. Um, I am very curious to see how this is going to play out. Uh, Scorb is a usually a diamond player. Um, right now he is in platinum. He spent a while off in season one, um, not laddering or playing much StarCraft, so he's a little rusty trying to get himself back to, to diamond. But right now he's toiling. Um, nice little heart, uh, little heart icon there yeah. from his SCB, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and meanwhile, it. meanwhile, Rushers, I believe, is still a high gold. I don't think he's. I don't think he is. He hasn't hit plat yet. I don't think. Um, he yeah. and more more to the point, I think Rush. Um, where there may, be or, may or may not be a skill gap here tonight, is that Rush is new to the Zerg race on the whole. He was mainly Terran for a while, and then switched a little bit to Protoss, and then switched to Zerg again. So he's still trying to get his find his home, as it were. Yeah, yeah, and that it has its positive and negatives. He does, you know, he knows how to play TVZ at least to some extent. Maybe not competently, but he knows how to play. I don't know how to play it competently, but yeah, he is playing Zerg. It's one of those races where you. Uh, I don't want to say you can make it up as you go along, but it's definitely the most forgiving when you mess up. Well, right. And, and Zerg is also a reactionary race, so in that right. way, you sort of you sort of you can sort of wait for your opponent and then get a good scout and then go from there. Yeah, but I gotta say, I think uh, Scorb he hasn't shown anything yet. Um, he did pull his SCV back, so that makes me think he's gonna go gas first instead of CC first, mm -hmm. which then leads itself to aggression or quick tech. Right. Um, and, but, and meanwhile, Rush Rush did put down uh, pretty standard. Um, he's got he's got his pull down, and he's going for his expo. Um, again, pretty pretty standard in terms of the timing. Um, he did the two guys had the two players have scouted each other pretty quickly. Um, uh, we do have a rush right now with a nice patrol here blocking the uh, the expansion. Um, that marine's yeah. gonna come out and start work of it. Yeah, I'm I was dead wrong on that. I apologize to everyone, but he actually he could pull back and get it right now. Um, but you know, it looks like he wants to kill the drone. As it were, he does get his CC down finally. Everything's yeah, going. Both gases in his main. Oh yeah. Um, this would probably lay itself into Mac. I want to say this. I mean, this is how I play Mac at least. Uh, you get your CCs and then your two gases. Uh, however, Scorb has sort of a disdain for Mac, so I mean, he could still go Marine Tank on this. We're just gonna have to see what. Upgrade facilities he puts down and what production obviously goes down. Yeah, it's still early. We're going to realize pretty soon um, exactly what's going on. We're going to get a much better idea um, in the next couple minutes here exactly what Scorb's battle plan is going to be. Meanwhile, um, you know, coming from our Zerg, uh, from Rush, we do not see any gases yet. A couple spines. So right now he's just sort of in the drone up phase. A couple Zerglings, maybe for some map control and take the watchtower. But nothing too aggressive from either, either player yet. Neither of them really tipping their hand as to what. Avenue they're going to go for the for the tech routes. We have a couple more barracks on the way, but st still nothing nothing too crazy yet. Yeah, so he is going to get a factory finishing up the command center. He is going to play this marine tank style, incredibly popular TVZ. Uh, I mean, you name a Terran, they play it TVZ like this. Uh, and nice bunker placement also out of our Terran player. Yep, Scorb, Scorb has been doing that lately against Zerg. I, I do kind of enjoy that that bunker placement there. Yeah. Rushers is getting double spine crawler. He knows, he knows there's a skill gap, is what I'm gonna say. Uh, so he is trying to be very protective. Also, Terrans tend to go Hellion Banshee opener in this matchup. They get right. the Hellions, they get the Banshees, and that would. So this protects against the Hellions at least. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just it's what he decides to do. He is floating a lot though, Rushers at this point. I would like to see him. He could throw down another hatch at this point. He, he could, and at this point, he's just starting to um, saturate three of his four gases uh, right now. Still not still not all four taken, but he is saturating now all four of them. 
Uh, drone count, he is ahead about 10 drones, but two mules is going to shrink that gap. But he's steadily about 10 ahead all the time. Um, waiting for Scorpio to sort of kick himself into into gear here and, and macro up a little more on his workers. Again, not a huge deal because he does have the mules to help close the gap. Not not It's not as bad as maybe that number looks, um, given the two races and how they play. Right, right. Uh, he did get supply block there for a little bit, finally clearing that up. So that did hurt him for a second there. Getting stim, as we all know, very good upgrade to have. And it, it's a good upgrade. What can I say? Yeah, I heard, I heard stim good unit. Stim good unit. Very good unit. And he is getting siege tech right now, so it looks like, like you said, it is going to be, um, it is going to be um, a decent amount of uh, marine tank. Uh, we do have plus one uh, carapace and uh, missiles from Rush on the way. He is getting layer tech. Layer just about to finish. Um, so very curious if he's going to go. Maybe he's not going to go spire with that much commitment already to uh, he's going roaches. Yeah. He's going uh, probably roach infest. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's, he's gonna use the first and yep. That's that's a good. Well. It's a good timed scan from uh from Scorb. He is gonna see the Roach Warren in the uh in the scan, so that's gonna tip him off already as to what's going on. Rush is now saturated on all four of his gases. About halfway done on the upgrades. Um, and at this point, he's starting on about seven Roaches. He's getting the uh Roach Roach movement as well, and a Hydra Den now on the way as well. Interesting. We see actually um. Stefano recently has been getting this like Roach Hydra ZVT. Uh, it's kind of kooky and it has potential to work, but it has to be executed well for it to work. Right. Um, no, I, I agree. Like, if you just list like the potential alone, I, I definitely like the idea of it, but there's so much. You have to play it just right, especially with the Hydras. Uh, I agree. Um, and it looks like uh, Rush is already sort of working down in the rocks. Um, so he's going to look to take his third right now, it looks like. Meanwhile, Scorb, uh, maybe not as quick to take his third. Um, he is get starting on, on the Medivax. He's got a couple of siege tanks at his front door. Um, he's starting to uh, keep a little bit of a perimeter. Um, nice, uh, nice supply depot wall as well he's working on to try to stop any kind of attack or, or Zergling run by potentially as a counterattack. Uh, Scorb also on three gas right now. So he's a little behind in the gas as well, figuring he needs yeah. a lot more of it for his uh, Marines than he does anything else. Right, and actually, one of the things is, if he did take that other gas, he would probably have enough to get a reactor on the starport, and then mm -hmm. pump out two medevacs at a time. Uh, but he is going to get some upgrades now with this engineering bay going down, and he is taking down the rock, so it looks like he wants to, but he is pushing out at the same time. It's this uh, three-tank push. Yep, and, and, that's, and that's a further standard to how he plays. And again, he's going to push out and then try to expand behind this. Um, you know, maybe it could happen a little bit sooner, but I think he sort of knows what he's doing. He does have... Now, what's funny to me is that he's pushing out now before the combat shield is even close to done. Uh, I, you know, I understand pushing out to cover your expo, but to push out before the combat shield um, timing happens is a little odd. But he's going to stem in, and he is going to... Now, now, now ooh, just in time, Rushers cancels that third. Um, Actually, so really well done by Rogers. That was yeah. Uh, that was a very quick to uh, respond to. I think it was about to finish. They basically did finish. Um, yeah. Now Rich has a decent amount of uh, roaches here. It's uh, I'd say about twenty or so work. Twenty or so uh, roaches plus a handful of hydras and zerglings. So it's a decent push here to hold this. It's just a matter of how score why he wants to press in with the uh, and abuse the range of the siege. Yeah, and here we go. We see all this Roach Hydra attacking in. Nice little bit of micro there by Rushers to get in and take all the tanks out. And actually, Rushers picks off everything, takes it beautifully. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better hold. Yeah, that, that was fantastic. Um, and he sh now he should very quickly restart that third. Um, at this point right now, Scorb is still beating down his own rocks, just about done. Um, he does have plus one on the way. Uh, he does have his combat shield now finished. Um, so maybe maybe if Scorb had waited until he had combat shield done, that would have gone a little bit better. Even still, I think Rushers was more than enough ready and handled uh, that situation. Yeah, now here comes a three medevac drop out of our Terran player, obviously. And he is going to try and take out... Oh, he's going for the main. Uh, yeah. He followed that line all the way up. He is... He's not going to play around with this. Finally, I mean, he's going to have to because yeah. that force in the middle from from rushers is is accumulating pretty fast. And if, and if he just pulled in there, he, I mean, I think Rush could probably take down Scorb right now, especially with all those medevacs loaded up and gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but rushers is playing very defensive. He is getting his infestation pit and his spire. He wants to start uh, probably that plus one while the hive completes, and yeah. then 
plus one's done, get the greater spire, then Broodlord, you know, that sort of uh, progression. But looks like Rushers is going to move in through the fourth here as Scorb does go for the Naturals. Plus one, plus one is not finished up yet, while Rushers 2-2 two, two is already done. And that leads me to be very cautious about how Scorb's going to do right now. Well, but I think Scor Scorb right now has got, got the red cover rolled out for him in the form of all that creep. I mean, there's nothing at home. I mean, it's whatever he's... he's uh, spawning right now at his base is all he has for defense, especially in the main. There's nothing in the main. And here it comes. All these Stim Marines right now are going to make sure work at his queen and the infestation pit's the next to fall. Uh, we're going to see right now what he, what he tech. Uh, now, is he going for the lair? Is he going to go for the... Oh, here we go. So at this point now, he's just decimating the, the, uh, the drone line in the main. Yeah, every, every drone's killed. Now, it looks like he's kind of splitting up his forces. He's not quite targeting anything down between... The spawning pool in the lair, but there are rushers. Meanwhile, back at home, we uh, Scorb right now has got a huge force of rushers at his front door, um, and this right now, I don't, I don't know. This is going to be very close. I think Scorb is just going to hold this at his doorstep. Meanwhile, he is decimating um, everything. That that spawning pool is almost gone, and I think rushers is going to hold it too. I think they're going to cancel each other out. And they both did a yeah. lot of damage to each other, but. Oh boy, well, you know what? Rushers only has Hydras left, but they're killing everything. The Hydras oh, yeah. are on a... That bunker right there is probably going to save Scorb. Yeah, yeah, he does pull a couple Marines out of it, pushes forward, and he does lose a couple Supply Depots, though, so he's going to have to work on that. Also, big bank for both these players, and, you know, yeah. some spending uh, wouldn't be... Right, wouldn't and, yeah, and they can both spend it right now. They're both out dead even on Supply, which is kind of funny. Um, it, the Workers' Kill tab is very interesting. Scorb, 18 Workers' Kill to Rushes, 5. Um, so that definitely is where the damage was done. He killed the infestation pit and 18 workers in the drop. Um, he did lose everything in the drop and almost got the spawning pool. Would have been nice to get the spawning pool as well. Killed the queen as well. So he did some damage. Uh, meanwhile, Rushers has lost his entire army. He is now working to rebuild. Um, and I, I think I think Scorb may have ended up better for that because Scorb was more quick to um, just keep macroing behind it with his army and keep replenishing quickly. That, that is sort of his strength here in this matchup. Yeah, now Scorb is finally getting his third. He is going to do an SCV transfer, get all those new workers down there, get it yeah. up and running. Now, now I'm going to take a look right now at the unit tab. Uh, we have 62 workers to uh, 51 drones, and at this point as a Zerg, you don't want to be there. Uh, you know, that's partly Scorb uh, almost over SCVing. He does sort of have that problem sometimes, especially on so few bases. Like right now, he's at his third. He can easily saturate all three bases and still have too many workers. Um, oh, absolutely. And meanwhile, Rushers is at is on four bases. Obviously, not mining fully on on maybe more than two of them uh, because of the drop and the new fourth. Um, so so it almost sort of evens itself out in a very weird way. Yeah, but I do have to say, Rushers doing fairly well. Uh, maybe a bit higher hydra count. Maybe start devoting to getting some of those or his tech, his uh, backup infestation pit. Finally, about to finish. His is this his first spy? Did his first spy get picked? Oh, you know what happened? In the drop, the spire was almost done, and he canceled it when the drop came. So he was quick to respond to that, but that's that, that's what he had to restart it basically because he canceled it. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. I wasn't sure because um, I see that his spire is about halfway done. It's actually at his third. I think Trombone Hands probably already found it for you guys because he's a baller like that. But finally getting Hive Tech, twenty six lings are on the way, a Roach, and plus one melee. Uh, so, yeah, I mean that's. That's the tech he's going. Finally, two two. It and what I, what I will say here on the map is that neither player really has a ton of vision on the map. Um, uh, so so I mean that's thing that definitely could be a little bit better for both players, especially um, our Zerg uh, rushers with those overlords could definitely get them moving to different places. Okay, and we have a big push in right now. Uh, rushers may not have enough to deal with this. This is a lot of stim marines, a lot of medevac support with tanks. This may this may get one sided quickly. I think, I think Scorb is really sort of on top of things now. Um, he still has all the tanks as well. This fourth is probably uh, on its way out. Um, good work by Scorb to sort of spread out his tanks in case there are failings and the tanks sort of cover each other in that way. And right now, Scorb is going to multitasking, sending a good portion of those uh, Stim Marines into the third, destroying every drone. Oh my god. They're going to target down the Queen and now the, uh, now the uh, hatchery there as well. Meanwhile, those tanks are just doing work. Um, and the, the Marines left by them are completely guarded. There's a double the size of the army now on its way, um, equal size to what's already there, being there uh, sent to uh, reinforce. Scorb has found the, uh, the fifth base. This is going to get taken out too. 
it's 130 supply difference right now. I don't want to call the game right now, but I'm not sure, especially with only Mutalis coming out, that uh, Rushers is going to be able to hold this off. And there's the GG from Rushers. Yeah, good job. Good job, Scorb. Actually, and I have to say, good job to Rushers, too, for... He did very well in that game. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, I think Rushers uh, exceeded my expectations already, especially early on. I think, I think as the game went on longer and Rush was not able to punish Scorb, it only served Scorb's, Scorb as a better player. Um, simply, that was the time he needed to show it. And I think as the game went on longer and, and, and Rush wasn't as aggressive as the Zerg, you saw Scorb get comfortable, macro up exactly what he wanted, and then implement his game plan. Yeah, I'd have to say so. All right, kids.